Hi Chris here. Uh, in this video, we we'll are be talking about what's been uh, happening a lot in regards to my sessions with clients is that I'm having to delve into past lives. And in regards to especially chronic issues and chronic cases, you know, there's only so far you can really go in regards to treating uh, present symptoms in uh, your present incarnation or present body. And the whole reality of the situation is that as an energy practitioner, the focus needs to go on our immortal self. And what is our mortal self? Our mortal self is our spirit and that's our soul. And when we get into uh, the, the reality of incarnations, that we, are, uh, we have had so many incarnations in a physical form, but which is our mortal self because that dies, the physical body, but our spirit and our soul continues on is that our soul accumulates a number of things that have happened in our past incarnations and in our past lives. And especially if something has happened that's very been very traumatic uh, and we haven't been able to deal with that, then we have a form of karma that we need to um, essentially experience and we need to uh, resolve in our next life. And so we really uh, need to work on regards to clearing that because if we carry that into our next life, everything that's within our soul will re-manifest into uh, that life. And there's a lot of other things such as entity beings and those influences, they uh, use that uh, against us. Things have happened in a, in a past life, whether that was from a form of conflict with that being or whether uh, they're using that trauma to um, try and get negative vibration out of us in the form of loosh so they can sustain themselves on that energy. So, <clears throat> so a number of times I'm finding we're getting to a point with a client where we're working on something, especially if it's in a form of a fear issue or a negative issue. And fear is such a big thing. And uh, <clears throat> when we're looking at the highest vibration, you know, as I say in other videos, it's all about love. And the lowest vibration is fear. You know, it's fear versus love. And uh, you know, I try and give people advice as much as possible to live life uh, in a loving way, be you know, um, service to others, and and try and allow love to come into your life and being loving with every thought and every emotion in our life and the way we live it. But it's a lot easier said than done. And um, because there are entity beings um, that are a part of our life, you know, we get blindfolded to this re reality or existence that really this is an energetic cosmos. And uh, there are a number of beings, not just humans, but beings that are more advanced than we are and are at a higher density than we are and uh, they kind of see us as like rats in the lab as we do with when we're experimenting on them they're experimenting on us so from a perspective of our humanity and whole is that we need to awaken people as much as possible that this actually exists and uh, you know, luckily a number of, of the clients that I get are open or aware of these things already. And some of them are learning uh, as part of their journey as well. And we all need to individually take this on board uh, to because uh, what gives these beings the power is the fact that we, the majority of people in our global population don't think they exist. And they can keep manipulating us in a way that we kind of blame ourselves. We think, what's wrong with me? What's, you know, and this conflict, this inner battle within yourself thinking there's something wrong with you when really there's nothing wrong with you. It's just something that has been passed from a past life into your current incarnation. And, you know, deep down, you know, something's not right, but you don't know the specifics of it because uh, something that we should know, we should know everything about our, our past lives, what, what happened. But there is a situation where there are programs put instilled in us that makes us forget out about our past lives. Uh, so therefore, this inner battle can continue and therefore create loosh for these beings to feed off. Uh, and essentially, we're here is essentially the rats in their laboratory uh, to work experiments on and for them to get sustenance from. We are there for them. 
So what I'm finding, I'm going and working in past lives, working into the law of attraction, because that's all about what's going to manifest in your life. And uh, quite often, you manifest certain things in your current life because of karma of things that have happened in your past life. So we need to go into the past life to address that, to correct things in your current incarnation, current life. For example, uh, you may have a client that um, is uh, really harming themselves. They've got a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression in this current life. And they may have had traumatic experiences in this life. But once you clear that up, you realize that there's something a bit more to the story. And, and that is that in a past life, uh, they may have been uh, caused harm to someone else that caused that person to be depressed to cause them to maybe take their life and then for example you've got that bad karma and in the next life you'll be on the other side of the fence uh, so to speak to to realize what it actually feels like to be that person that you caused harm to and therefore you'll harm yourself in this current life or have depression or have a number of other issues and doubt yourself which uh, is all creating negative energy, uh, negative energy for all these beings to feed off that, uh, for example, the reptilian beings are a big one, but a number of other, others do the same thing. And uh, another example could be um, not trusting oneself. And then, uh, you know, you may have some traumatic things that may have happened earlier in your life, but what have come to find is those events that have happened earlier in your life that caused trauma, whether that was a bad childhood that you didn't get loved by your parents is really a continuation of what happened uh, of something happened in, in a past life so we can clear that traumatic stuff we can remove emotional trauma uh, using energy medicine what I do here at Truly Holistic but we need to go deeper to really remove that core problem because if we don't it's just going to re-manifest in your current life by not removing the cause of the problems which usually exist in a past life. So I thought I'd do a video in regards to this because um, I'm finding that uh, uh, I'm really being uh, directed into people's past lives a lot of late, especially clients that have had a few sessions with me and we've been getting uh, success to a certain degree, but we're not just nipping the bud and we're not getting rid of the core problem. And we're really, investigating into um, people's past lives and finding some really really important information not not just to to um, make energy changes um, but also for the client to be able to to have some understanding of why they are thinking the thoughts they have why they think that they're not good enough all of a sudden when they realize what had happened in the past life what they did in the past life um, then it allows them to uh, find peace within themselves and make a bit of sense of where they fit and where they fit in, 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 in the universe. And as I say, it's you know, I'm here to help people from an energy perspective with the intuition uh, um, talents that I have, which really we all do uh, as long as we can hone them. And uh, it's, it's secondly uh, important for every individual to uh, go through this journey and, and figure out, you know, where they sit, you know, what are they supposed to do? You know, what's their journey's purpose? What's their soul's purpose? And what's their dharma, essentially? And then that will enable them to make the correct choices uh, in their life and uh, find peace within their life where they can get to that point where they can look at everything in a loving way and um, and then and it's not so easy um, not so hard it's a lot more easier for them to live a reality where love is at the frontier of the way they live instead of fear so anyway I hope you got some information from this video if you have any issues in regards to uh, depression psychosis um, just just don't feel right you know and you can't find your life's purpose um, you know I'd love if you to book an appointment with me and we can I can help you with that and we can go into past lives and figure out the connections to why you're feeling the way you do in your current life and uh, we can cut off, cut off a few connections 
uh, that are with these beings that are just feeding off your energy and manipulating you like you are a lab rat. And, uh, you know, and um, we can bring peace and awareness to uh, humanity as a whole as well is definitely a big goal of mine here at Truly Holistic. So thank you for watching again and thank you for listening and supporting me. Thank you.